Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your quiz to Slide Lizard. This is our Galaxy template, which you can download in the link in the description below. It's actually one of 10 templates, so I'm sure there's something for everybody. You can just choose whichever template you like, download it, and then come back if you haven't done so already. Now, if you get Slide Lizard, it has a lot of benefits. You can conduct your poll online and let your participants vote with their smartphones. So definitely beneficial and we highly recommend doing so. Now I'm just going to assume that you already did download Slide Lizard and if you haven't, you should definitely watch the video in the info box down below or link somewhere in the video at this point. Um, now if you've done so, click link to Slide Lizard. and wait until the window opens. Now I'm not going to get into that because I've done that in another tutorial video, <clears throat> which I will also be linking in the description box down below as everything. Um, so if you don't know what the basic functions of Light Lizard are, definitely check that out. Click next, 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 until we come to polls and quizzes. And that's where things get interesting. Um, we now want to create questions. As many questions as you want to ask, there is no limit as to how few or how many you're going to do. Just ask whatever you want to ask. Now, mine is space related, so I'm going to ask. Right, so as you can see, I created four answers because right here I also have four answer options. And you're going to need as many as there are boxes. Now you can add another question. These are like maybe not the best questions, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So don't mind me. Right now, one important thing, which I think I haven't done here, is to always choose single choice quiz because as you can see there are these answer boxes now where you can choose the right answer which is obviously not earth so obviously there's just one answer which which is jupiter so i'm gonna mark that as correct then go ahead to what color is the sky which is obviously blue we want to create we want to choose multiple no, we want to choose single choice quiz because there's only one right answer. Now, two questions is not a lot, but for demonstration purposes, it's sufficient. So I'm going to go click next, but you're probably going to want to create some more right here. And um, create the presentation. And by the way, if you already linked your presentation to Slide Lizard, you can always just um, go to polls and quizzes right here to add additional quizzes and polls um, right there. Good to know. Right, and as you can see, the magic has already happened. The important thing is that you got conduct poll set right here under action. And under poll, you want to choose the uh, question that you want to ask. So let's ask what is the biggest planet first. And then right here, you get your results. That's right, if you download Slide Lizard, you can just simply have a result slide. And this is just a preview, but once you actually conduct a poll, the real results will be shown here. So that's pretty cool. Also, right here, you can see a time left counter and a counter for the number of votes, which can also be a very helpful tool in a quiz. Right, now we only got one question for now, which is obviously not very much for a quiz. So we want to create more. How we're going to do that is just by clicking, right clicking right here and then duplicate slide, then drag it down after the answer slide first and do the same thing with the answer slide, duplicate slide, drag it down. And now we're going to have to switch the question again right here, conduct poll, that's just fine. And then select what color is the sky. So 
your second question. And if it doesn't um, automatically refresh, just click refresh right here. Yeah. Um, on the answer side, we're also gonna have to switch the question to what color is the sky. And again, it updates. And perfect. Right, so that's the whole thing. Now you can go, to, if you go to present mode right here, I'm not gonna demonstrate that right now. Um, you can just conduct the poll and your audience will be able to vote with their smartphones. Again, if you need any help on how to use SlideLizard, check out our tutorials. They're all linked in the description box below. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below. And um, see you in the next video. Bye.